Hello and welcome to this very quick tip about these two things here. These are two of the smart buzzers from Vifly, the Finder 2. I've already looked at this on the channel and uh, this kind of replaces a very basic pizza electric buzzer with uh, this little battery backed up unit here and uh, you can connect it to the flight controller into the buzzer pins and you can have this sounding. It's an awful lot louder than the standard piezoelectric buzzer. It has a flashing light on it. It auto detects darkness and light. Um, you can kind of arm it and do other things with the button on here. But the fact it has the battery backup is great because not only is it a lot louder than a standard buzzer, it also sounds even if the battery gives up or the battery is disconnected or ejected as part of the crash. And I am starting to use these now. Uh, recently, I did this build with the Matek Wing flight controller in the AR wing with Ardu plane. And uh, the a standard buzzer won't work with these Matek boards. So I bought the Matek buzzer and I kind of missed a trick. I should have used this. This would have also given me an extra bit of uh, backup in the event of a nasty crash. So this one is really all about flight controllers. And that's really what I want to talk about here is the difference between the two and where you'd use one over the other. So if you have a flight controller, it has a standard buzzer pin output, then this is the one you want to use. If you want a louder buzzer, you want a flashing LED at the same time, and you want a battery backup so it continues to sound even if the battery gets disconnected. Particularly handy on smaller quads that might disappear in the grass. Now the Vifly Beacon uh, looks almost identical. Let me just grab the Finder. So this is the Finder 2 here. Um, same kind of battery, same kind of buzzer, same kind of LED arrangement, uh, a couple of slight differences. The big difference, of course, as you can probably see here, is that this one, the beacon, has a USB connector on it, whereas on this one, it actually has the cable that goes to your flight controller. And that's the big difference. This thing, you're not going to use it with a flight controller. So if you have a maybe a fixed wing without a flight controller, or you have something like a DJI drone, or a flight controller that doesn't have a buzzer output on it, this is what you can use. Now you have to charge it from the USB port, so you plug it in and charge it like you would your phone or whatever. When it's charging, there's a little red light. When that's gone off, it's ready to go. And then there are three modes of operation, which is in this very simple manual. To activate it, you press it for two to five seconds. So press, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, let go. And it will cheap, make a little beeping noise like that uh, to let you know that it is armed. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a massive fan of having the little cheap, but I guess there is just a little audio confirmation that everything is tickety-boo and it's armed. Then you need to put it onto your craft securely so it doesn't get ejected. Uh, it comes with kind of a cable tie and a double foam pad. Um, if you're gonna crash, you don't want this getting pinged off into the weeds. So I would make sure that you mount it somewhere where it absolutely isn't gonna come loose. And ideally, you want it uh, somewhere where you can see the LED as well, because that is great in dusk and uh, darker conditions it helps you kind of spot it in the grass the next mode then is how to alarm uh, when detecting a big crash and that's the other thing about this uh, if I hit um, into the uh, into the table quite hard we just simulated quite a nasty little crash the Vifly beacon will either pre arm status that will sound one whistle every three seconds if another movement is detected in 30 seconds, the pre-alarm status will be released. If no movement is detected in 30 seconds, it will enter the alarm status where the buzzer will beep two loud sounds continuously for every 6 to 12 seconds and the LED will flash too. So, we're coming up on 30 seconds. Let's see if it actually goes into alarm status. Not yet. And that's something just to be careful of here. Uh, if it is um, cr landing into soft ground, uh, I've had instances where this hasn't gone off. So it has to be a pretty hard hit for it to start to sound. But when it sounds, you get the, the light, the buzzer, and you get everything. Now, the other quite nice thing is as well, is once uh, this thing's come down and activated, they have this kind of thing called stealing alert. So if somebody... Uh, picks it up, it detects a quick movement after 30 seconds, 
uh, then it will beep continuously to warn the picker. So if you're in the middle of a field and you're kind of walking around, desperately trying to find your, your little quad, and uh, somebody walking, a dog bends down and picks something up uh, and is about to walk off with your prized possession, then uh, it will beep continuously and you'll know that's where it is. So that's the difference between the two. If you have a flight controller, then I would get the Vifly Finder 2. If you don't have a flight controller, but you want the ability to uh, find your model if it comes down by a nice loud sound and potentially the flashing light as well, then the beacon is probably the one you're gonna want. So I'll put links down below, uh, but hopefully that explains the difference between the two and where you're gonna use them. For me, because I use an awful lot of flight controllers here, I'm probably gonna to need to order another couple of these because I am ordering some more Matek flight controllers and these I think are a better option than the Matek buzzers that you can pop on those. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction To, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.